Hi there. We're in the Merc right now. You probably won't recognize from that perspective, but it isn't where it used to be. I drove it across the uh, driveway over here. It was on the other side of the driveway before. So we got all our, most of our ignition things figured out. When I originally wired the distributor for a clockwise um, orientation, it turned out that that was the correct orientation. So um, after yesterday, when we were getting all the blasts out the uh, out the car, it was obviously way out, if not 180 degrees out, and that's what it turned out to be, 180 degrees off. So I quickly rewired, rewired the distributor for that, and um, it started up right away. There still is some hesitation and a couple of little puffs out the thing, so I think a finer tune is necessary. So I don't know how much uh, control I'm going to have over that. The documentation for the uh, electronic points replacement indicated that it might advance timing by as much as 10 degrees, which would be quite a bit for this, because uh, I think static timing on here is supposed to be 2 degrees before the top center, top dead center. So if it's adding 10 to that, then um, that would be too much. So I'm looking online for uh, tips and tricks on that. Now maybe just um, the position of that distributor, since it was new or whatever, I mean, uh, the thing is, like I say, that that vacuum advance is hitting other parts of the engine um, when I'm trying to turn it. So, and uh, it's a hard line, hard vacuum line into that um, into the distributor. So, yeah, there's no, there's not much flexibility there. But happy to have it uh, started. It's going to have to run a lot better for me to conceive of taking this uh, to the car show on Sunday. Um, but I might have better luck with the smaller car shows out here in Souk. Uh, the other car show I want to go to on Sunday is a fair ways away for how much this has been out on the road. But anyway, yeah, I'm quite, uh, quite pleased that we made the progress that we did anyway. Pleased that the points replacement thing is working fine and pleased that we made the right you meeny money mo on the ignition wire um, that that wires into the distributor. So I had a relatively good idea that it was the one using a voltmeter or an ohm meter anyway. And when Kara was switching the thing on, I could see the um, see the values changing. So pretty good on that. Um, so yeah, the Merc uh, at least lives to ride again. So yeah, I don't know. Once I get it working um, better, we'll take it out for a quick rip, maybe down to the beach and back. And um, see what it's like going up the hill. See if we get any pinging or uh, hesitation or whatever right now. It, it totally would. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it would be happy coming back up the hill there. But we'll try and get it dialed in. Not only can I not see any of the timing pins on the front of the um, engine, like on the pulley or, or whatever, there's supposedly a little metal thing that comes out of the uh, timing chain cover, but I can't see them at all because the uh, rad is like totally sitting right in front of it, so I don't... Uh, I could use a mirror, I guess. But using a mirror is going to be difficult when the fan is spinning. So, I haven't found those proper timing marks yet. I'm, I'm curious to see. I'll, I'll time it with the light if I can find those. Dang, I really don't want to take it out again. But I, now that we've gone through this trouble, it would be possible to yank the thing out again and turn it, over, turn it a bit. So, uh, anyway. Yeah. Have fun. Stay dirty. I will be back in touch. Bye.